Hey there, Steve here, hope you're doing well, and welcome to another episode of Steal This Chord Progression, where I give you a chord progression and some tasty chords to take away and use for your own song ideas. So if you're interested in learning uh, a mathy or emo or kind of uh, Japanese kind of mathy style uh, chord progression, then this video is for you. So the chord progression we have for this video, I've included just a little slight variation, so we're going to change one chord just to give it a different flavour. And so the first one is a 4-1-6-5 progression, which sounds something like this, if we put some chords to it. And a 4-1-6-3 progression, which sounds like this. So we're just changing the chord at the end there. And if you're confused to what this uh, numbering system is, basically the upper case means major chords and the lower case means minor chords. And these denote to a particular key, so seven chords within a particular key. In the case of this video, I'm going to be playing in the key of D major. Uh, so let me teach you some of the chords I was using there. So the first chord is a, a G over a D. It's a really cool sounding chord. And next we have this uh, D major 7. B minor 9, and then the first progression at A7, so a dominant chord, and a variation, G over D, D itself, B minor 9, and then we're going to end on this F minor 7, F sharp minor 7. Uh, so now I'd like to show you a couple of ways that I've used these chords to create some kind of um, interesting riffs. Well, I like to think they're interesting anyway. So the first one is kind of like um, a Delta Sleep kind of vibe to it. And it has that kind of Japanese math rock uh, feel to it as well, I would say. Going back to the first chord progression, ending on the A, so ending on the 5 instead of the minor, uh, third there, um, I like to do this kind of interval walking kind of thing, it sounds pretty cool. It goes between 6th and 7th intervals, and I'll put them on screen for you, but they sound kind of cool when you can mix them up and create this kind of like rhythmic, nice flowing piece basically. <laughs> example of how I used this uh, original progression, the 4-1-6-5 progression, uh, I made it this kind of like tiny moving parts kind of style idea using um, all sus chords or add nine chords however you'd like to refer them. So I just need a, a bit more drive for this one. So we're going to be uh, use a G sus2, I'm going to go to a, a D sus2, and then a B sus2, and a A sus2. And then I came up with this kind of idea. So again, yeah, using that same chord progression, but just using it in a different way. And you can just come up with so many cool ideas with it. And the last thing I'll leave you with is how you can throw in a borrowed chord to make this progression that extra bit, little bit spicy and a little bit tasty. And again, this sounds like a very Delta Sleep kind of trick. Uh, you know, probably, obviously, notice I'm a big fan of those, of them. But uh, okay, so we're going to throw in um, a major borrowed chord from the parallel minor key of uh, D minor. And this is going to be an A sharp. A sharp major. And listen how this sounds. So we're going to start with the 1, so a G, or the 4, a G. I'm going to play a D major 9. I'm going to play a B minor 7. 
now we're going to throw in the borrowed chord. Here it comes. That's lovely, right? You can do it in other kinds of ways as well. So G, the fourth. G major seven. Tell you what, let's do it this way instead. G major seven. D major nine. B minor seven. A sharp major nine. Or we could play it <coughs> even slightly different. So major seven. Alright, that's it for this one. If you'd like to learn more about math rock or math rock chords and all these kind of progressions and such, I do have an, an ebook available which you can find a link for down below. And I'd like to say thank you for all of the patrons that support this channel. If you were considering to support this channel, I have merchandise available like this kind of shirt. And I also have a Patreon, as you probably know, because I just mentioned that. And you'll find a link for that down below in the description. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.